Hi guys, welcome to Captain DuckDuck tutorial video. Captain DuckDuck is an open source app development platform similar to Heroku, except it's open source and extremely easy to learn. After watching this video, I strongly recommend watching the video I made for the first release of Captain DuckDuck, link in the description. That's because the other video is longer and all details are completely explained in that video. If at any point in this video you felt lost, don't worry. The other video is much more detailed and addresses a lot of possible questions that you might have, including DNS settings, SSH, Docker, and so on. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so the very first thing that we need to do is to buy a server. I'll go to DigitalOcean and purchase a server with pre-installed Docker on it. If your provider doesn't offer pre-installed Docker, just Google how to install Docker on a server and you'll find a ton of tutorial. Anyways, I created my server with Docker installed on it. Next thing to do is to set up a wildcard entry in my DNS settings. Okay, I'll go to my DNS settings for the domain that I purchased, captaindocdoc.com, and add a wildcard A record entry. I put start.youtube2 as the example and point it to the IP address of the server. Okay, I'll go here, copy the server IP, paste it here. All right, all right, next I need to set TTL value. It doesn't really matter, I'll just give it a custom value and we'll add it. Awesome, we're good. Now I will SSH into my server. Okay, now I'll need to copy the server IP. I'll go here, SSH into my server. Now I copy this line from tutorial page on captain.github page to my server. All right, it seems to be fine now. Now I can leave the server SSH session. All right, according to GitHub tutorial, the next step is to install Captain Doctor client. I'll copy and paste this line with sudo added to it to my terminal. Now, the next step is to set up my server. Again, I'll copy and paste this line from tutorial and follow the instructions. All right, IP address of the server. Now root domain, which is the DNS entry that we entered earlier. For me, it will be youtube2.captaindocdoc.com. All right, my email address, it'll take a while. And a custom password for me. All right, I'll name the server test YouTube. Great, our captain is ready. I can grab this link and I can go to the web interface with my new password. I'll log in. Then I'll go to the apps section and we create an app. All right, let's call it app one. All right, it's created. Now let's go here and click on this link. All right, you can see the placeholder page. Anyways, let's say this is your app that you wanted to deploy. I'll use the Node.js sample app for the purpose of this demo. It's available on our GitHub repo. There is also a PHP and a Python sample app. For this demo, I'll unzip the Node.js sample app. Notice there is a captain definition file. This is the file that makes Captain know how to run your app. It's completely documented in the documentation. Anyways, open a terminal here and type Captain DuckDuck deploy here. Okay, now we pick the master branch. Uh, the name of the app is app one. All right, we go and deploy. This takes about two minutes the first time you wanna deploy an app. All right, it's done. Now I'll go to the link of the app here. And there we go. This is our Node.js app that we just deployed. Okay, one of the new features of Captain DocDoc is one-click apps. I'll go to the apps page again and click on one-click apps. 
I can choose various databases and apps here. Remember, if a database or an app is not here, it absolutely doesn't mean that you cannot deploy it on Captain. It just means that it won't be a one-click app. Just read documentation on Captain definition, specifically Docker file lines, and you will know that you can pretty much deploy any database and app using Captain DocDoc. Anyways, for now, let's select WordPress. Okay, I'll enter name here for my WordPress and the password for my SQL database. It will take about two minutes or so. There we go, it's finished. Now go to the apps page. Notice how Captain automatically started a WordPress MySQL container and a WordPress PHP container for us. Okay, now let's go to the WordPress app and visit this link here. There it is. Our WordPress website live is available on this URL. Awesome. Look how easy you can deploy databases and off-the-shelf apps here, like Parse, MongoDB, you name it. This is one of the greatest thing about Captain DocDoc. All right, let's go back to the apps page. This check mark here indicates whether the app you want to deploy has persistent data or not. Typically, not always, web apps do not have any persistent data, but databases do. Let me check this check mark here and create a new app. Okay, now if I go to this app, you'll notice there is a section that I can define persistent directories. If your app dies and Captain has to restart the process for any reason, all your files and directories get reset to what they were when the container started, except for persistent directories. They survive any process restart. Let's go to the WordPress MySQL container here. You will see that there is a persistent directory here. This is where MySQL stores your data and you want your data to survive restarts. Similarly, if you go to WordPress PHP container, you want your changes to your PHP files survive container restarts. This is specifically because of plugins and themes installs on WordPress. Typically for plain web apps, you do not want any persistent that survive process restarts. This will ensure a clean restart if your application crashes. All right, that's pretty much it. Again, there is a ton of stuff that I didn't cover in this tutorial. Make sure you watch the first video. If you want to know more about monitoring tools, they'll show you CPU and RAM usage. More importantly, if you want to know about scaling applications, starting multiple instances of applications, attaching more servers, and creating a cluster of web servers, make sure you watch that video. Also, look at our GitHub page. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Okay, see you guys next time.